everybody. Today we are opening up the September Ipsy bag. I'm pretty excited about it. I love getting my Ipsy bags. Sorry if I'm like squinting at you. I'm really not trying to like or like stare at you or anything. I just don't have my contacts in or my glasses on so I cannot see anything. So I'm like trying to like focus on the screen. I know it's like a foot away from my face but I honestly everything is just one big fuzzball. So hopefully everything looks all right to you guys and hopefully I don't like give you evil eyes during the video because that would be not very nice. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into this month's bag. This is this month's bag. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Looks like we got some like fancy ladies dressed up at a party maybe and they have like strange square lampshades. I wonder if these are supposed to be like lampshades. <laughs> like you know, they're at a party, things get a little too crazy and everybody has lampshades on their heads. I don't know. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. It does feel very like thick and it has a very like extreme plastic smell which I think is a little bit different than their typical bags but you know I do like the gold accents on it. Last month's was still my favorite favorite but oh, it's kind of cute it's different. So let's go ahead and get into this month's bag. So the first thing we have is this Amy Naturally Kind New Leaf Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish Corrector Exfoliant. There's a lot of words on the front of this little bottle, but I love exfoliators and I love exfoliating polishes, so I'm really interested to try this out. Next up in this month's bag, we have a Naked Advanced Aloe Cream. I don't think I've ever owned anything from Naked Cosmetics. I'm guessing this is a face cream. There's really nothing on it that tells me what it is besides skin solutions. So I'm guessing face skin is what they're going for here. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't rub this all over my skin and it's supposed to go on your feet or something. I don't know what that would do to me, but it would be kind of weird. Anyway, it's... Not a very intense smell. It smells like a lot of normal moisturizers. It seems to soak in pretty quickly and yeah, basic nice moisturizers. Next up in this month's bag, we have a little sample of the Tartiste? 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 Uh, Lash Paint, I think is what this is called. This is a mascara by Tarte. Oh, I thought I broke it. I was like, are you kidding me? Okay, I had a Dior primer that did the same thing, but like this stays attached and you like pull it out of the hole. But I guess that's how it's supposed to go unless I actually did break it. But anyway, that's really cool. I always love getting mascara samples, so I'll definitely give this a try. Next up, we have this little BB cream, and it is from Sensitive. It is supposed to be a daily safe BB cream with 30 SPF. And if I can squeeze any of it out. I feel like there's barely anything in here at all, like, at most, it might be filled up to here, like, maybe, <laughs> but it came in a shade, I guess that would be appropriate for my skin color. I'll give it a little test here. For a BB cream, it does seem to have some decent coverage, and yeah, it's a little bit too light maybe for me, but I can test it out anyway. I don't think there's going to be many applications in here, but you know, I could give it a try. I really like products with sunscreen already in them because I hate doing a million steps in the morning because I am already like very lazy. I don't want to add something else to it. Speaking of that, this month's little theme is Glamazon. <laughs> On the back here, it says we're through with lazy beauty, and I'm like, no. It talks about putting away your sweatpants. I'm like, absolutely not. My sweatpants and me are one. Me and my sweatpants will never be separated. You know, it's okay getting glammed up. I don't do it often. Like, I like to do like a full face of makeup and still wear sweatpants or even pajamas. As long as my face is done, the rest of me can look a mess, which is typically how life goes for me. I don't know, I just kind of thought that was funny because I am super lazy, so I will never be separated from my lazy ways, most likely. Anyway, back to the bag. Next up in here we have a product from e.l.f. I don't think I've ever gotten a product from e.l.f. in an Ipsy bag before, but this is a clay eyeshadow palette in the Smoked to Perfection shade, and it says it's new, so I guess this is a new thing from e.l.f. Very cool, I'm excited about this. This is what the little palette looks like itself. I think it's absolutely adorable, and it feels like decently hefty too. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. It does come with a nice mirror here, and then you have a Highlight shade, base, lid, crease, and line shade in here. So I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I can already tell that there's a lot of fallout coming from the highlight shade itself. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Yeah, just by touching it, I don't know if you guys can see that at all, but it seems very powdery and chunky. So let's go ahead and put it on here. And as soon as I start putting it on, it pretty much just flies away. If you just barely, like, lightly tap it on with your finger, you can get a bit of a sheen from it, 
but it's very chunky and like loose. Like it pretty much just spread all over the back of my hand. And if I dust it at all with my hand, it's basically gone. A little bit of sheen left from it, but almost nothing. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and test out the other shades. We have two shimmer shades up here. This one's like a grayish mauve color, and it's really pretty. It has some definitely a nice sheen to it. Next to it, we have more of like a plummy purple color. That's right here. Definitely has a pretty like purple iridescence to it. Not extremely pigmented, but it's still pretty. Then down here we have two matte shades. This one seems to be more of that like purpley gray, just like this one up here, only this one's more pigmented actually. It's very pretty. And then finally we have our liner shade, which is just black. And it's not the most intense black I've ever seen, but you know, it'll do. It's pretty. So I think this is really cute. Like I've never gotten like a little palette like this from Ipsy, so... I don't know, I really like it. I think it's adorable. And that is all we got for September. This might not be my like favorite bag, but I really do like this little e.l.f. palette. I know the highlight shade isn't the best, but you know, maybe you could work with it or maybe just not even use it. The other four are pretty decent. And then I also really like that I got a sample of the Tartist, Tartiste uh, mascara because I've been wanting to try it out, but... It is a little bit on the pricey side, so it's nice to try out something like this before we actually go purchase it. And overall, I think it was a decent bag. Let me know what you guys got down in the comments. I love knowing what everybody gets in their bags. And just thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye!